Hey, are you wondering if you could even do SEO for a Wix website? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you guys how I was able to rank three different Wix websites in three different industries following some very basic SEO rules. I'm going to show you how you guys can do this for yourself and rank your website to the top of the search results using Wix. What's up there, guys? Izzy here once again with Do-It-Yourself SEO, where I help contractors and home service business owners understand the internet, how to build out their own websites and do their own SEO to help them generate leads for their business. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Wix and the Wix platform of building websites. And I'm going to show you guys how I was able to help three different contractors and business owners and complete three completely different industries, help them SEO optimize their websites and rank them all the way to the top of the search results and how you can do this for yourself and implement these strategies for your website and do it honestly quite easy. But before I go into all these little SEO things you could do to your website starting to probably here and do it in about 10, 15 minutes, I wanna talk about a couple of things too to help contractors and home service business providers understand about this online world. Number one, it really isn't all that difficult. I know it sounds complicated and makes it seem like it's very difficult. But the number one thing you have to understand is that you don't have much competition. In this whole online world, for, especially for contractors and home service business providers, the, the amount of websites you're competing against usually is not very many. I mean, it's obvious if you are a roofer in Dallas, Texas, or a garage repair company over in Los Angeles, California, obviously you're gonna be competing against probably hundreds of different businesses. But if you are a like a fence company in a small town in Oregon, like one of these examples here, or an asphalt paving company in another small town out in Arizona, or if you build out decks in Santa Barbara, California, or any number of things like that, the amount of websites that you're competing against is so small, it's it's ridiculous. And it's so easy for you just to do the basic stuff on SEO to be able to outrank your competition. It's incredibly easy. And the second thing I want to talk about is some of the mistakes that I see so many contractors make when they're building out their own websites. And I could totally understand that's not their area of expertise. And I'm going to explain to you what some of the things that I see that they make, the mistakes that they make. And so that way you don't, so that way you could avoid doing the same thing for your websites. But before all that, let me share with you guys exactly how I was able to rank these three different websites in three different industries following basic SEO strategies and rules that you should apply. So let me just get into it. Let me show you exactly what I did to these websites. So as I talk very often on my channel, there are some very basic rules of SEO that you should follow when building out your website, and it will help you rank tremendously on the search results just following those basic rules. And what are these rules? Your title tag, meta description, H1 title tags, H2 title tags, some H3 title tags, and of course the content on your website. And the cool thing about Wix is that Wix makes this incredibly easy to access every one of those areas and go in there and fix them like within a few minutes and get everything dialed in so it can start helping your website rank towards the top of the search results. So as you'll see this website here, I'm mimicking my location for this area. So when I type in fence company, the first result I see here is Prodigy Fence. And the first one of the first websites I see is Prodigy Fence here. And if you click on the website, you're going to see that I followed all those rules. You see at the top, you can always check your title tag just by running your mouse at the, at the tab up here, and it'll tell you what your title tag is. Premier Fence Company, Hermistine, Oregon. So that's in there. The meta description says the same thing. And then here's the H1 title tag that says Experts Fence Company, Hermistine, Oregon. And then some H2s to sprinkle that in too. Fence Company in Eastern Oregon. You'll see these are H2s, some more H2s, and you're going to see all of these are H3s, which basically supplement the website and tell the search engine that this is basically a fence company and provides all these fencing services in this particular area. And that's it. And I wrote some decent content on here, talking about all the services it provides, and that's all it took to get this website towards the top. Here's the next example. Again, I mimicked my location for Prescott Valley, Arizona, and I typed in paving company. Obviously, anybody typing that in is looking for a paving company, correct? So when you go in here, you're gonna see one of the first websites in here, Hard Drives LLC. There's their 
website and there's our website right there. So it's got two spots here. Here is the title tag, Hard Drives LLC, Asphalt Paving, Prescott Valley. And here is the meta description. We're the leaders of Asphalt Paving, Prescott Valley, Arizona. And again, you can run your mouse towards the top and it'll tell you what the title tag of this website is. And then what we did, here's the H1 title tag. Here's some H2s, more H2s, more H2s. And you're going to see some H3s right here. Recycled, hot mix, asphalt seal coating, chip sealing, asphalt, that kind of stuff to basically supplement what this website's all about. And then of course, some decent content about asphalt paving in that area. This last example was an oddball one for me. Somebody reached out and needed some help with their website out here. So I'm like, obviously it's going to work. Let's go ahead and do it. See, so it's a luxury transportation service, a black car service, they call it as well. So luxury transportation in El Salvador, then you type that in and the very first website you see there and in the map listings here, and again, we did the exact same thing. There's the title tag, the meta description has all these words in it. Here's the H1 title tag. Here's some H2 title tags. Some of these are H3 title tags. We wrote some decent content about each one of these. You see that right there. And that's all it really took. And it's ranking number one. On the search results, no other SEOs was required other than the structure of the website. So let me show you how to fix all this stuff on a Wix website. So here we are on Wix. I've created my own template. So if anybody needs help with building out a contractor or home service business website on Wix, I created a template just for that. But let me show you exactly where to fix all these SEO settings, right? So here's the home page of my template. Just go into the page part here, pages and menus, and you click on that. Click on this little three tab dealy and you see the SEO basics. And this is where you could change your description. See, I already have it set up perfectly. Your city service provided and then your business same. So, so Santa Barbara deck builder, Sam's deck building, discover top notch deck builder services in Santa Barbara with efficient, affordable services, blah, 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 blah. So that's where you fix the title tag and the meta description for this page. Next is the H1. So this is the H1. See how Wix allows you right here as so you edit text and it allows you to change it. So this H1 title tag, super simple. You know, you can change it to H1, H2, H3, whatever you want. You scroll down right here. I have structured these for H2s, edit text, H2 title tags. There you go. And you scroll down through these are h2s as well so you continue to scroll down and you'll see these i've set them up for h3s they're all set up i got areas for pictures i've got places where you can create the content that'll basically talk about the services you provide and that is it then you hit publish view the site and there you go this website is 100 percent seo optimized with within about five minutes that's all you have to do to get this thing structured correctly. And of course you have to put in, you know, some content about what you do, the service you provide in that particular area. And of course there's other things you need to do like setting up service pages, the contact home and all that stuff. But in this video, I just wanted to share with you guys the absolute basics that you need. If you do that, you're just gonna, you know, knock your competitors out because they're not even doing any of the basic stuff. It also helps that I've structured a design that seems to rank very well, it seems people, the customers seem to scroll through it and really understand what they're getting here when they go on here and take action, which also helps rank these websites. Now this leads me to the mistakes I so often see online when home service businesses and contractors try to build out their own websites. Again, it's not no fault of their own. Their area of expertise is in their service they provide, not building up websites. But one of the mistakes that I see so often is, I think I believe a lot of contractors see their website as a brochure for their business instead of a way to generate leads for their business. They already have a website up, might as well take full advantage of it and take advantage that a lot of people just aren't even following the basic rules of SEO. Take this one here, it's a dumpster rental company because uh, I, I generate my own leads. So I take a look at some of these websites people have set up and I see this one here, which is a nice website. I can obviously tell it's a dumpster rental, but I have no idea where it is. 
where the area they provide or anything like that. And it's not, so if I, the human being don't understand, obviously Google's not going to understand. So this is never going to show up on the search results to help this guy generate leads. Now, if this guy just hands the website to somebody so they can see, they'll know, you know, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but online randomly, he's never going to get found. I ran into this one too, is HVAC repair. Number one, I have no idea what he actually does. Number two, where he provides the service. And this website is completely confusing. So if I ran into this website, I did immediately hit the back button and, and just leave because I'm looking for HVAC repair or whatever it is in my town. This doesn't tell me anything. Here's another one here in my town, Skyline Construction. Welcome to our website. You see what I'm saying? How they, you see how they structure a website and kind of make it look like a brochure for their business. You know, they showcase some of the work, but Again, this website's never going to get found in the search results. It's never going to generate any leads. And so you have a website up, might as well take advantage of it. Here's one last one I saw, JDR Framing. I'm, I have absolutely no idea what this website is. It's a GoDaddy website set up. Um, you're already paying whatever it might be, two, 300 bucks a, a year for this thing. Might as well make it work for you, right? Structure it, a website that's going to rank well on Google. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys on this video. I wanted to share with you guys how you can rank websites using Wix. It's not my preferred choice of building websites. I much prefer WordPress because it's just gives you so much more options, more things to do. It's easier to build and it's easier to automate when you do more advanced SEO stuff for your website. So if you guys are looking for a template, whether it be that Wix one or WordPress, want to learn how to build your own website, do your own SEO, or if you don't want to do any of this crap, you just want somebody like myself to do it for you, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be able to help you out. And if you guys want some more tips, or more ideas on how to help your business get found online, go ahead and click on this video here. And that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.